It is awesome today for us to have Nancy join us in front of the Awesome Marriage cameras. Uh, she's going to answer some questions that some of our leaders have asked, and so let's get right into the first question. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you could tell newlywed wives the three most important attributes to possess or strive for to be a godly, godly wife, what would you tell them? Well, pretty simplified. Put God first, your husband second, and you third. Um, I think that pretty much sums it up. How, what's the hardest thing for you in doing that? Or was, maybe, especially early in marriage? Oh, I really didn't have a clue about, really, I, you know, I knew of a big God in the sky, but I didn't really have a personal relationship with Christ. And um, so getting to know Him has helped me, direct me toward um, knowing what's needed, what I need to, to be for you, and uh, what God wants me to be. When's it hardest to put me second? <laughs> um, I don't know. That's a hard question. I have to think about that. Okay, you think of an answer. I'll chime in. Yes. What are the three biggest challenges to your success of being a godly wife to your husband? Sin, sin, and sin. Uh, no, seriously. Um, pride, which I think probably is at the basis of everything. Pride, um, impatience, you know, quick temper, that kind of thing, which uh, jumps in the way of... of uh, me not being the godly wife I would like to be. Are there things that I do that, that help? Mm, yeah, you, uh, you're very patient and understanding and you let me have my little rants and raves and don't judge me for it. And I appreciate that. <clears throat> yeah, and I, I think it makes me want to do better. And I think it's just how God puts us together different. You know, if we both had, were impatient, it wouldn't be good. And if we are both overly patient, we probably wouldn't ever get anything done. So it balances out well. Okay, last question. What specific blessings have you personally experienced from having a long, successful, God-centered marriage? Well, it's hard to describe um, because until you've experienced it, people aren't going to understand the closeness um, spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally, that you've been able to weave together over the years um, through the hard times, the good times, just sticking it out at times, uh, rejoicing, all the, with all the good and bad, you learn to um, really love and appreciate one another at a level that um, it's just really unique and something you have to strive for. So if you could do it over again, would you marry me again? That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. Yeah, I would. I, I think I'd, no, I would. Because I love you now. Uh, I mean, I guess I, I, I don't even know if I really loved you back then. It was, it was more of just a, a friendship or something. Um, Lust? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know about that. But I mean, it was truly, um, it, it's just so different now so yeah. deep and meaningful and um, the two really have become one. Yeah, and I think that's where I, I hate it when I see so many young people get divorced because you've got to go through those things to get where we are True. and they're, they're never going to get there because they're, they're, they're bailing, missing out. They're bailing early. They're like way that. missing out. Yeah, I'd marry you again too, mm, probably thanks. sooner. <laughs>